I'm Brittany and I own Rat Me Tender here in Butler, New Jersey. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a ring sling with a newborn. So first I'm going to unthread it, take you back to the very first steps to show you how to get it set up properly. Once it's set up, you don't have to do this every time. You can leave it threaded through the rings, toss it in your diaper bag and go. But it's helpful every now and then to take it apart when you're washing it or just when it needs to get kind of neatened up if it's gotten all bunched up. So I'm holding my rings in one hand, my tail in the other, and I'm bringing, making sure nothing is twisted, so I want it to be flat like a hammock, and I'm bringing the tail through the rings, and the goal with the ring sling is to have it pre-sized to nearly just the right position, just the right size for your baby and your body, and that way you have to do very minimal adjusting once they are in the sling. So if I do that in advance, I save myself a lot of work once I have baby in my arms. So I can bring the rings to my shoulder and the bottom of the pouch to about my hip, that will give me a general idea of sizing, and then I will adjust it more in a moment. Then I'm bringing it back through the one ring, just like one of those belts, and that's how you thread it. Now, the important step here that you have to do every time you put it on is the finger walk. So I, do you see this section that's here? It's all kind of folded and tucked under itself. That is going to be really hard for me to adjust when I go to pull my, pull my tail. So right now, I'm just kind of blousing everything out. You kind of want to think scrunchy. Think scrunchy and then you will know what kind of look you're going for. I want to be able to see all sections of the sling. Once I've done that, I'm ready to pop it on. So I want to have my rings on my shoulder, the tail in front of me, and the pouch in front also. So again, I'm just going to make sure everything is blasted out nice and neat. And I'm going to pull this away just to see. Is this the right size for my baby? Is this the right size for my body? I will know best how much space there should be. If this is way far out, it's much bigger than I need. If it's too tight, I'm not gonna be able to fit baby inside. So this looks good. I'm gonna pick up my baby. This is Juniper, my daughter. She is four weeks old today. And she is right on the cusp of being happy with either legs in or legs out. Um, for the purposes of this video, I will put her in legs out. If you'd like to see legs in, you can get the same concept of what we do with that in the wrap video, the legs in with the woven wrap. So to get her in, let me take off her little socks because they're gonna fall. I'm going to bring my hand through this loop. It's just easier to grab her little feet that way. Then I'm going to sit this tube under her butt and then she's gonna sit on it and I'm positioning her where I want her on my body. And what that does is it does all that prep work for me. It's getting her knees higher than her butt, which is what we want. She's determining how far apart to have her legs. And then once she's in position, I'm gonna find that top hem and bring it up her back. Enough that I could cover her head, but I don't. Very similar to how I set up the wrap. She's getting hungry, so she's mad right now. So I wanna, I don't need to bring a huge amount of the fabric up because her legs are so very short. As her legs get longer, there's more I can do to scoop her butt. But right now, I really just want to ensure that her knees are higher than her butt. So now I'm going to pull this hem, the hem closest to baby, and I'm lifting her weight as I do it because that's going to pull her weight off of the rings. Her weight is what's blocking the rings, so if I don't lift a little bit on her weight, it's going to make the rings really hard to work through. So I'm lifting up and pulling across. That tightens behind her neck. The middle of this tail, I'm bringing, I'm lifting up on her weight, pulling 45 degrees across my body. And the outside hem, I'm pulling, lifting up and pulling straight down. There's very little I needed to adjust because I pre-sized it pretty well. Her, her, this top hem needs a little bit of work. I can roll it so that it's not covering her so much. But this is pretty good. So she's sort of off to the side, which is fine. She can be shifted, she can be fully centered. I want my rings to end up where I'd wear a corsage, which they're pretty good. If I needed a little more head support for her, sometimes I like to take part of this tail and just roll it into the top, into the top hem. That gives her a little more head support if she needs it. She doesn't really need it right now though. And now I can probably show you nursing in this because she's wanting to. So I'm gonna go, what I'm going to do is lift up on her butt, pull up on the ring, loosening it just a few inches, and now, She's lined up pretty well. I'm not wearing a good shirt for it today, so it will just show you the general concept. Her mouth is lined up with my boob. If I was wearing an easier shirt, she would just latch right on. And then I retighten as needed. 
Again, you don't want to over tighten this outside one. I want it snug enough that she stays seated in it, but I don't want to overdo that because I don't want to dig into her legs. So you'll kind of find the right finesse for your baby size. And then once you've retightened and she's latched, some people will lift this up to support her head. I find that I often don't need that. This amount of fabric behind the nape of her neck is really nice. You don't want to over squish her into the boob. You don't want to give her too little support. So, you know, you find the amount of, of give and tension that works for you. And what I'll tell new moms is, don't try it all on the first day. Don't try your ring sling and nursing all at once on the same day. Give yourself some time and practice with each independently then bring the two together and know that it might take some time and practice. It's new for you, it's new for baby. And then once she's done nursing, I do always want to bring her back up to a nice high kissable position. So what I'm doing is just bringing the whole body, the whole pouch up. And then I'm retightening again. One, two, three. And she's in a nice high kissable position. Her knees are higher than her butt. She's putting her toes where she wants. And if she did want to be legs in, if she was really scrunched up, the way that would look is her sitting kind of crisscross applesauce or Buddha style inside, and we're bringing that scoop all the way in between the two of us to give you a general idea. But she doesn't want to do that right now. And that's how you know, you follow your baby's lead. Her legs are getting longer, so she doesn't feel that need to be scrunched up. But sometimes she may still be in a mood. There may be a transition period where Certain times of day they prefer legs in, certain times of day they prefer legs out. But she is rooting because she does actually want to nurse and I just tricked her and didn't really. So I'm going to stop and nurse her. And thank you very much. Look out for the next video.